What is going on guys? It's Jay and thanks for checking out my trade journey. Today, July 6th, I am down to around 5.30, 5.40 in my trading account and I was just looking for something quick to maybe trade, make a few bucks on and pad my account a little bit. Tahoe had uh, gapped down pretty big overnight and I noticed it was kind of trending up and I was watching these support lines. So once it got over the uh, first level of support and the pivot, I thought, okay, you know, let me get in here for a little position maybe. And I kind of kind of got in at the top, right? You know, you get good at buying the top uh, early on in your trading career. So as soon as I got in, it immediately started to turn around and I kind of thought, oh man, you know, did I just, did I just buy the top and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose, you know, 50 bucks or whatever. So the challenge with trading uh, with a small account is when you get down around $500 with SureTrader, if you go below 500, you can't use margin. So you, you kind of have to be right on the trades when you're down around this level. So for me, it was, uh, again, you know, just getting a couple hundred shares to have kind of low risk and have a little more range with my stop. So you'll notice here, I don't even have a stop entered onto the trade when I first got into it and it just started to kind of peel off. So uh, as the price started to go down some, I said, okay, let me go ahead and throw an actual stop in here. And I took a little more risk on the stop than I typically like to, you know, this, this move had been pretty overextended. It was already up about 70 cents from when it kind of reversed after that opening uh, push down. And, I said, you know, I need to get something in here in case the stock tanks in the other direction. And I realize this is all moving in a, a little faster speed for you, so I hope you can kind of keep up with the action. But I tried to make some annotations uh, while I was doing the screen capture this morning just to show, hey, you know, when I get into a trade, one way to manage it is just to move your stop up, right? You put your initial stop in, and then when the stock starts to move in the direction that you were anticipating it going, you can start moving your stop loss up. So for me, it was, hey, I want to get back to break even as quickly as possible. So you see, again, you know, I got in at 587. So I got in at the very top of the, uh, the move up right there. So I got a little worried when it just immediately pulled back. So now I want to see it push through $6, which it, it did. It actually only took a few minutes to do so. This was kind of a thinly traded stock. So it didn't have that huge snap uh, when it gets a little bit of volume in, but I did get some increased volume. So for me, again, this was more about just getting into a trade and then trying to manage my stop as the trade developed. I have a real problem when I get into a stock, I'm like, oh, I'm up, I'm up a few bucks, I need to get out. So more than, than this was about just making money it, for me it was about managing the trade watching all the data while i'm in it watching the level two watching the price action watching the volume um you know as a newer trader i kind of get a little emotionally involved when i first get in and and for me that's a problem you know you want to try to be as, as emotionless as possible and think about you know what you're doing and you want to think about it logically and I have a hard time doing that. So, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not making a whole lot of money on these trades, trading small share sizes, but it gives me the confidence that, hey, you're going to make money. You know, before, um, before June, I, I called myself a losing trader because I was. I, I was losing money on my trades. I hadn't really found my strategy. So, you know, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure you've seen, if you're, if you're into the stock trading, you've seen a lot of the big names, these guys that um, do the big momentum trades, they you know jump in right first thing in the morning, or you might have somebody who's short biased and you know they short, they short stocks and they're looking for first red day and all this stuff. That's not really for me. My style is, is kind of, a, <clears throat> it is a breakout, but I like to generally hold them a little bit longer and, and see you know, where, where the stock can go. Um, I do like to get in on some of the uh, 
quick momentum plays for a scalp, but I don't mind holding a stock for 20, 30 minutes if it's going to keep trending in, in the direction that I'm expecting it to go. So you'll see I'm just kind of moving my stop up here in the video, and this thing gets up over uh, six bucks, and then it actually kind of peaked around 6.10, and I probably should have gotten out. So you see there, it kind of broke down through the support, and I probably should have gotten out at that point. That little doji at the top, I didn't really uh, process that like, hey, you know, this is there's a doji here, this thing could turn around. Um, so I should have gotten out and, and made, you know, about 20 more dollars on the stock, but I didn't. So, you know, it's too bad, so sad. I made 20 bucks on the trade. It was a green trade. It helped me build some confidence. So I just wanted to show that to you guys and that's it. So have a good day. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.